welcome back to my next up close video and in this video we are going to be taking a look at another new for 2022 product from Witchwood and that product is the tactical HD tackle pouch as like everything that is uh, come out from Witchwood the packaging on this one is just the same you get a uh, image of the product inside description features and the dimensions at the bottom So this little tackle pouch isn't about taking everything plus a kitchen sink. It's just gonna accommodate the sort of bare essentials that you need for maybe like an evening session, uh, going for a stalking session. Essentially just taking what you need for th those few hours whilst out on the bank. It's not about cramming it full of gear, you know, carrying masses of amount of uh, tackle or anything like that, or big bulky pieces of luggage. It's essentially just putting in there the bare essentials that you think that you're gonna need over that very short space of time, grabbing hold of that handle and getting off and going. And as you can see straight away, that's like everything else in the range, that's super strong but lightweight 1200D material. It is finished in that colorway of the tactical camo and the green. So the main sort of body and bulk of the tackle pouch is finished in that camo. At either end, you've got that green finish as well as the sort of uh, lid which takes you into the sort of inner bulk main compartment of the uh, tackle pouch itself. As you can see, it's got the uh, sewn on Witchwood logo on the actual, like I say, on the actual lid of the tackle pouch. And uh, it's got a nice, sturdy, double stitch, strong carry handle on that as well, which also has the uh, tactical logo sewn in. It's got those big bespoke zips. So it's got a couple of pockets at either end which are finished off with those zips. Double zipped as well, and it allows you to get it, the pocket right open to get your hands in. That is replicated at either end, and exactly the same as well for the top section, the lid sort of section that takes you into the main compartment of the, uh, of the tackle pouch. Again, zipped all the way around to the back there, where obviously it just allows you to open it right up. But again, get the lid right open, get stuck in to the contents of your tackle pouch. Unzipping the actual top lid then to the main compartment, you will see straight away that there is a clear sort of plastic pocket built in to the actual lid there. So a zip that runs along the top so you can get your hands in there and retrieve whatever it is that you've put in but it's a cool little pocket that just makes space of the lid and uh, you can store in there spare tubing leaders have them all sort of ready to go um, maybe two, one or two rigs in there depending on what it is that you're using but uh, yeah it's just a space that can often go unused and just by adding this sort of clear plastic pocket there just make some valuable sort of space for other little bits and pieces that you might need whilst out on that short session. Working our way into the main sort of body of the uh, tackle pouch, straight away when you open it, you will notice and feel that it is padded. So if you do have sort of maybe some little plastic tackle boxes in there, um, anything like that, then uh, yeah, it's got padding in there, which means if you're uh, on the move quite a bit, then whatever you've got stored in there is going to be safe from being sort of knocked around or anything like that if you are quite a mobile angler. As you can see, three strips of Velcro around the uh, padded sort of divider and they just stick them in on the inside of the tackle pouch and it's easily removable depending on how you want to have your set up. Just finishing off then for this video, you will see the sort of tackle pouch itself has got quite a thin sort of profile shape about it. So it's not gonna take up masses of space. As I mentioned, it's about being lightweight, being mobile, taking next to nothing with you. So it's not a big bulky piece of luggage. You can quite easily just uh, chuck that in your sort of uh, your mat or anything like that. If you're taking sort of like the bare essentials, 
as I say, it's got a nice flat profile. It's literally as wide and deep as the uh, ends there throughout with that slight pocket on the top. But once you've got a few, few bits and pieces inside there, it really isn't gonna bulk out much more than that. So a real nice shape to it, a really nice size and absolutely perfect for those short sessions.